G'day everyone, Johnny from Road Train Adventures back again with another story and we're getting ready to leave Mount Gambia, this beautiful place, green everywhere and uh, getting ready to go from here all the way to Adelaide, which is not that far, pick up for Waluna, you know, near Mkhitaryan, that beautiful place, oh, I'm looking forward to it, we haven't been up there for a long time so look out WA, we come, um, so I'm I think we're picking up some crane parts but anyway we will find out so let's uh, get out of here because it's pretty cold and uh, head across to Adelaide oh you got me stressing counting all my blessings God come get me out of this town I couldn't wait to move, I had so much to do Was all I could do to get away But now that I'm here, I'm filled with fear In the mirror when I look in my face, all I see Is an empty heart and broken dream All I could do to get away But now that I'm here I'm filled with fear In the mirror when I look at my face I couldn't wait to move I had so much to do That's all I could do to get away And now that I'm here I'm filled with fear In the mirror when I look at my face All I see all right you all well we've had some questions about what is this this bit of metal here what is it what's it for and stuff like that so before i answer this we're going to find out later on i want to find out if you guys know so in the comments list um what do you think this is and uh, don't forget there's there's these things on the side here as well so it's not just here it's it's on the side too so in the comments write in write down what you think and uh well the flight's cut me away and uh we'll find out later in the episode Housing one of the richest gold deposits in the world, the Super Pit in Kalgoorlie has been an attraction for all those who want to work at Australia's largest mines. The mine is a complex system of underground networks with a history that stretches back over the past 100 years. Known as the Super Pit, the Femiston Open Pit was Australia's largest open cut gold mine until 2016 when the Newmont Boddington Gold Mine opened in Western Australia. The super pit stretches back since ooh, 1893 when the gold rush era started, when Panny Hannon discovered 100 ounces of gold in Kalgoorlie Boulder. This sparked the WA gold rush and the discovery of the gold mile, one of the richest gold deposits in the world. 
Around 15 million tonnes of rock is moved from the Zipper Pit every year, making this dynamic operation truly worth its weight in gold. Each truck on site will approximately use $8 million worth of fuel, $3 million worth of tyres. And these tyres can weigh up to 5 tonne and it takes two people 45 minutes to change one. So if you're in the area, check out the Kalgoorlie Super Pit. I hope you're enjoying the episode and if you are the best way for you to support me is by simply just clicking that like button it uh, really helps uh, share this content around and uh, supports my channel so if you haven't already click the like button and uh, thanks for that Menzies is a tiny mining town between Kalgoorlie and Leonora on the Goldfields Highway and apart from a few interesting historic buildings it would be a town of little interest However, the decision in 2003 to allow esteemed English sculptor and artist Anthony Gormley to create a unique artistic work in Lake Ballard has meant that an attraction of international stature. Menzies is located 131 kilometres north of Kalgoorlie or 724 kilometres northeast of Perth. Menzies gets us named by a gold prospector named Leslie Robert Menzies, who in 1894 found gold in the area and started the rush which created the town.
See these red ones, the flash looking ones, they're bug deflectors, and I'll tell you what, they stop 99% of, um, of all the bugs. So, are they worth it? Definitely, definitely. I don't have to clean my window much at all, and I see all the American trucks, you might as well have a cab over because without that bug deflector, all the bugs just go straight through. All right, uh, that was fun, let's uh, continue on. Look at how many shooting stars. I mean, there's heaps of them right in this section. Anyway, let me tell you a funny story while you look at this. We went down to the pub, had a beer, and then just before we ordered our meal, the phone reception went down. And in this town, everything runs off phone reception. So it was a pub without a meal or beer. They were accepting cash only. And that shows the importance of cash. You know, people talk about, let's go cashless. Well, in this circumstance, nobody was able to get anything because nobody had cash. y'all it's uh, the end of another trip and uh, as you can see we're empty and uh, it's a funny story we're at Payne's Fine now Payne's Fine is between uh, Mount Magnet and uh, Wuben. Wuben's the place where everyone connects up with their triple road trains and continues on so I'm only double so I, can, I don't ever really need to stop so anyway so Payne's Fine is this well it's just a really a roadhouse in the middle of nowhere and uh, my friend used to used to work here 
Uh, I was coming up on the motorbike, this is many years ago before I was um, driving trucks and stuff. And Anyway, coming up on the, on the motorbike and they warned me about the kangaroos. Now this is before I even did country driving and stuff. Anyway, I'm driving along and, um, and I'm like literally two kilometers from the place, so I'm just up the road anyway. And um, oh, so I'm thinking, oh, I'm, I'm there, I'm there. I can see the lights of the Payne Road um, Roadhouse and a big kangaroo just jumps right in front of me and just about takes my head off. Man, it was so scary. So, um, yeah, no, I don't think I'll ever forget this place, but let's, um, let's take a look around. It's uh, quite an old place. So, a bit of an outdoor area. I don't know what this place is like at night time, I don't remember. But, um, yeah, doesn't look too bad. So let's, let's take a look inside. Oh, well, that's the pub area. <laughs> it's a takeaway. Well, oh, they're inside the shop itself. Well, that's reasonably old. Huh. I'm going to that kitchen trying to help get some, um, get some, um, or oh, make some food. Anyway. So let's take a look around the back. Well, I guess that's the storage area. There are the rooms, maybe some miners and, well, I guess road workers and stuff staying there. I'm trying to remember where I stayed. I think it was over in these rooms over here. I don't even remember if I had air conditioning. Man, this was back in the days of dial-up. I actually came out here just to help my friend because he had no internet. And I said, well, I can, I can get you set up with the, this dial-up modem thing, and yeah. Now, this is something I do remember. So there's no power out here, but this there is the generator. Here, and the fuel for the generator. So they've got two generators running this whole place. One will be on at all times, and if, uh, if it fails, then you can get another one going. But they don't run the generator all the time so depending on how many guests they've got they will turn the generator off uh, i think around nine o'clock 9 p.m and then turn it on at 7 p.m or, or 7 a.m or maybe early i don't know what time they they do this yes yes that's where i stayed in there <laughs> i think that could be the um for the workers here which there probably wouldn't be too many workers anyway Paints find yes I think they did a lot of um, gold prospecting around here and no doubt if you come out here with a um, to look for gold you'd, you'd probably find some there wouldn't be too much not nowadays anyway now I understand if you do or if you, if you were to do that I think you still got to get a some prospecting license or something and who knows where you get that it's not my area Well, there you have it. 
Oh, that's nice. Tell you what, my truck, it rained a lot around Vigi Milfa. So my truck is looking rough. Now at night time this place is pretty full of trucks. I haven't done North West for a long time, but uh, yeah, look at this. That's uh looking looking really <laughs> anyway. So this whole lot usually is pretty full of trucks so I'll um, either sleep here or come here for dinner and um, yeah then continue on now as you can see I put the gates down in the comments um, let us know do you reckon that would be any kind of ring drag well some people think yes some people think no and maybe it just looks better, but anyway, we put the gates down. All right, let's get in and uh, head to Perth and see what the next adventure holds.